How's it going guys? I know it's been a minute since my last video and I do apologize for that, but today I got a good one. In the next couple weeks to a month, I'm gonna be building a wood go-kart version two. So today I'm just getting the engine prepped by installing a stage one kit on this Predator 212. And then I'm also adding a torque converter on it as well. So I'll take you guys through all the steps of that. I know it's not a wood project, but hopefully you guys enjoy this one. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna be installing the stage one kit on my Predator first, and then I'll be doing the torque converter after that. Now I got my stage one kit from BMI Carts. A lot of people will get it from Go Power Sports. You know, it's pretty much all the same stuff. What you're gonna be getting is a performance air filter, an adapter to mount your air filter, and then we're also gonna be increasing the fuel flow with the 38,000th uh, main carb jet. And then last but not least, we'll be installing the header. And this is just a simple way to get a little bit more horsepower out of your engines. I've seen a lot of people do videos on these and it usually results in about two or three more horsepower. So it's pretty simple. Altogether, it was about 90 bucks. So it's not that much just to increase your engine's performance. I'm gonna start by removing the air filter housing and that's just two 10 mil nuts that we can pop off real quick. And before I can pull this off, I gotta slide off the vent line for the valve cover and the one for the fuel tank. And now this whole housing should just slide right off. And now I can go ahead and slide off this gasket. And since this is a brand new engine, I'm probably gonna save this and reuse it. That way the one that came with the kit, I can save for the future just in case I have a leak or something. So slide that off. Next, I wanna take my fuel line off. And like I said, it's a brand new engine, so there's not gonna be fuel in here, but if you do have it running before, you'll have to deal with that. And then go ahead and pop off this spring up top. And then I can go ahead and disconnect this arm right here as well. And now I can slide my carb off. And for now I can set my carb to the side. I'll do that in a little bit. But first I wanna do the studs that are gonna hold this on. So I just wanna go ahead and slide off this last gasket and this plastic piece. And the trick to getting these studs off is you just take the 10 mil nuts that were originally on it, thread them on all the way. Then you wanna go ahead and tighten them against each other. And now you should be able to loosen this back one and bring the whole stud with it. And then you can just go ahead and reverse the process for the new ones. And I feel like it's not a bad idea to add a little bit of Loctite to the threads on these because you're probably not gonna be taking them out anytime soon. And that's definitely way too much. <laughs> So now I can go ahead and slide this black guide back on here and I already have my gasket on there still. I didn't take that one off. And then I wanna go ahead and put my other gasket back on. And before I slide my car back on, I wanna go ahead and change out the jet to the new 38 thousandths one. So I'll just break the bolt on the bottom of the bowl here off. Then I can pop the bowl off. And now I have access to the jet, I just need a flat head. And now it should come out and the emulsion tube may come out with it. You just wanna make sure you put it back in the same way it came out. So that's gonna be, there's like two barrels on the bottom and that's gonna be the bottom side. And now I can just go ahead and slide that back in and put my new jet in. And now you can go ahead and put your fuel bowl back on and just the bolt on the bottom. And now we can go ahead and slide our carb back on. And you just wanna make sure you reconnect your fuel line as well while you do that. As well as the linkage on top. And now it's just a matter of putting the gasket back on and putting my new air filter adapter into place. And you just wanna make sure you tighten these down evenly as you go so you're not just making it lopsided. Now 
Now I can go ahead and tighten the uh, bolt on the back of this to hold the choke in place. And now I can put my filter on and just tighten the clamp. So I went ahead and took the hoses off the old filter cover and uh, with these I'm just going to go ahead and slide it back on the fuel tank and the valve cover and I did buy new filters for these. They just individually hook up right here and you just trim this but I don't have them yet. They've been like getting lost in the mail or something. So just long story short, I'm just going to put the hose on here, cut it and then when the filter comes I'll eventually put that on but that may not make it in the video. Now the last part of the stage one kit is installing the header. That's pretty simple, just two 13 millimeter nuts. And I did go ahead and paint this, it came unfinished. Let's go ahead and pop off the old muffler and install this new header. And this gasket still looks like it's gonna be in good shape, so I'm not gonna bother putting the new one on just to save it, so in case I need to change it in the future. And one quick tip before I install the torque converter, you're probably gonna wanna disconnect this low oil sensor, because when you're riding a go-kart, the oil's gonna be sloshing around everywhere, and if it shifts to one side and it's picking up that there's no oil in the engine, it's gonna kill it automatically. So it's pretty simple to do. Basically, you take this bundle, and all you do is you disconnect the yellow wire and then you pull off the ground from this and then that's going to completely bypass it so you don't have to worry about your engine shutting off when you're riding your go-kart around. And realistically, I don't even need this anymore so I'm just going to go ahead and take this bolt out and cut the wires. And now I can just tuck this all back up in here nice and neat. And with that done, I can go ahead and begin installing my torque converter. I'm gonna start by mounting the plate, and that's just gonna be done with four bolts. Each one's gonna have a washer and a lock washer, and I'll just go ahead and tighten these down. So I'm gonna start with the back shaft, and I'm just gonna begin by installing this washer with this keyway cutout. Then I can go ahead and install my key stock and I wanna make sure it's going through there. And then I wanna go ahead and slide my sprocket on here, making sure it's aligned with the keyway. And then I'll just slide my pulley on and make sure it's lined up with the keyway as well. And now it's just a matter of installing the washer and the nut. And the nut you don't wanna go crazy tight on because it's just being held in by a snap ring on the back side of the shaft. So make sure you're not gonna over torque that. As for the front shaft goes, you wanna start by installing the washer provided, and then you'll have a spacer. And then I'll take the back plate and install it with the keyway lined up. And now I can go ahead and slide on this bushing, and this is the part where I'm gonna to wanna to add my belt. Now you will notice, you might not be able to see in the video, but one side of this belt has a chamfer on it, and you want the flat side against the engine and the chamfer against the chamfered side of the pulleys. So I'll just start by putting it around the back, and then get it over the front, and there we go. And now you can go ahead and start installing the outer pulley, and you wanna make sure the two slits on this are facing outwards, and this is also keyed on the inside to fit the shaft of the engine. And when you put this on, you wanna make sure that the springs are facing outward. And now I can add the outer plate, and you wanna make sure it's lined up with those slits. And then you can go ahead and install this piece, and you'll see it's also keyed as well. You want this side facing the inboard, so I'll go ahead and make sure that's lined up. And then I'll secure it in place with the bolt that has a washer and a lock washer on it. So now with everything installed, I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside, fire it up, and hear how it sounds.
So after hearing this engine fire up, I gotta say it just makes me even more excited to build the wood go-kart version two. Hopefully I'll have that video out within like a month max, but I'm really not sure yet. It's probably a couple weeks more realistically, but I'm just kind of waiting on parts and stuff to come in and I'm still making a few designs. So uh, all in all, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, as always, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll try to be making more videos here. I know I say that every time, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, change it this time. So that's it for now. I'll have the wood go-kart build in a few weeks and I'll see you guys then.